The Texas Attorney General's office says thousands of victims of Western Union wire fraud can finally get the relief they need. Yeah, Ken Paxton's office announced today the refund program for fraud victims is finally underway. Channel 5's Ryan Nelson heard a first-hand account of one victim story. Victims across the country can finally stake their claim to a full refund. One of them lives right here in the valley. He's a former Sherryland school board member with lots of love to give. I love you. Hector Contreras says he would do anything for a loved one. In August of last year, he learned his generosity can be a double-edged sword. Right away, I, you know, I, I jumped that I needed to help my nephew, you know. Contreras got a call from his brother saying their nephew, Kiko, was in an accident. He says, Kiko just called me and he had an accident in Corpus Christi. And, uh, and he's going to get uh, call you from the place of the accident. He then received a call from a person he assumed to be his nephew. And he spoke real good English, you know, and he sounded like my nephew too. Contreras says the person on the other line handed the phone to the supposed person he crashed into. And he says, uh, your, your uh, nephew has been real nice, very, very cooperative. Uh, he's willing to pay what the, uh, the accident is gonna cost and we're needing $900. Contreras didn't think twice about wiring the money with Western Union, money he didn't have. He and his wife get by in their Social Security checks. He took an overdraft hit with his bank. We're on a very tight budget, you know. If, if, if anybody can survive on just Social Security, man, I'll take my hat off to him too. The person pretending to be his nephew claimed they would pay the money back plus $300 the next day. Contreras pieced the scheme together when he spoke to the real Kiko later in the day. And, and I said, sir, did you get everything squared away with the police and with the accident that you had? And he said, no, I've, I haven't had an accident. I'm here in San Antonio. And I said, well, I'm, boy, I got scammed then. He isn't alone. About 39,000 Texans like Contreras were deceived into sending money to fraudsters, many of which claim to have family members in need. But when my brother introduced the person to me, that's really what opened up Pandora's box. The scheme ran from 2004 through 2017. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says in a statement that reads in part, scam artists are always looking for new ways to fool people into wiring them money, including schemes involving deceiving people into believing they are speaking with family members, romantic interests, lotteries, or contests. These fraudsters will be held accountable for their abuse of hardworking Texans. The Department of Justice and Federal Trade Commission settlement with Western Union requires the company to forfeit $586 million in refunds for victims. If I can get any kind of help, I would certainly appreciate it. Once he makes his claim, help may finally be on the way. Contreras says he and his wife took out several loans to tie them over. Though it took months, they finally recovered. He plans on staking his claim as soon as he can. In the studio, Ryan Nelson, Channel 5 News at 1030. If you or someone you know is looking to claim their refund to Western Union wire fraud, they can do so by going to www.westernunionremission.com. All claims must be submitted before February 12th of 2018. And you can find a link by, onto this page by visiting the Find a Link on the KRGV homepage.